redneck bass fishing here. We ain't put the scale on him yet, but he smelled probably 14 pounder. I'd say, nah, he's probably about six, seven, but pretty good fish. Second one. I caught one earlier. We never thought to get it on video because we ain't posted a video in a while, but it's probably be our first one back. I ain't going to put him in because I'm fixing to take a picture and send to my buddies. Redneck bass fishing here. Just caught this little guy on a Senko. So I second one of the day. Let's let him go. Here we go. Yellow. Redneck bass fishing here probably with this two and a half pounder. Ouncer probably. Uh, pretty good fish. He was eating a snapping turtle when I caught him. That snapping turtle went for my worm and ended up hooking him. Snap turtle got away. And there comes Nooner over there. Finally here, boys. Yep. Ah! I seen you was watching me flop my fish I just caught. Two to two with tied with fudge. Nooner's just now getting his butt over here. It's about time, finally. But, there I don't know is. if you can see him over there. But, he's alright. This one wasn't eating no turtle like the other one was. Yeah, there he goes. Yes, sir. Redneck bass fishing here has caught this probably five or six pounder. That, yesterday I caught a nine and a seven pounder. But he's a little bit smaller than them. But it's a good fish. We're gonna get to taking pictures and putting them on our Instagram, Snapchat, and stuff like that. Instagram is redneck bass fishing, something or another like that. Good fish. He's about as long as my winner is. <laughs> Hangs down to about close to my ankles, so. There you go. Redneck bass fishing here. I don't know why I say that every time, but you know, it's like the nooner here. I've been catching the heck out of him today, but Fudge came up in here so he could record. And uh, just caught a pounder right in front of him, first cast. So, you know, yeah. So there's a good one. Good little pounder. Yeet! Oh. Redneck bass fishing here. Got this second one for me. Third one of the day. Got them on these grips here because, you know, we would be reeling in them big old huge ones. I got that old bass fisherman thumb, man. It's bleeding. But let's let this little guy go. That's three chow. And fudge, zero bass. Oh, hey everybody. Uh, I just caught this two pounder. Uh, looking fresh and neat and everything, but let me take you over here right quick and let me show you my setup. Uh, I got this pole at Walmart for about $30. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, it slays if you can't tell. I caught a five pounder on, on it two weeks ago, you know what I'm saying? But I'll see you guys back here with another five pounder here in a bit. <laughs> Redneck bass fishing here. It's got this little old one pounder. This is my uh, third one of the day. We back here at the back pond. And yeah, Brandon caught a two pounder earlier. Let's get it. What was that? <laughs> what was that? What was that? Hey, oh, hey, calm down there, sir. There he goes. There we go. Let's get him. They call me Jimmy John. Ding dong. With the four pounder. You know, my boy, he was taking a leak, right? And he claimed that his nuts were out. Back on my back. It claimed his nuts were out. And I said, well, shit. Shoot. 
That's good luck. Well, next thing you know, turn around, this son of a gun is jumping out the water. Well, you know what that means. It means the nuts are good luck. And I forgot to tell y'all. Look at the mouth. I forgot to tell y'all what I named my pole is the ebony cat moaner. The ebony cat moaner. The reason is, now it sounds like go. a cat moaning. That's why we call it the cat moaner, but. Let's let him go. And he's off. We call, we call him the ebony cat moaner. Because it sounds like a cat moaning when I cast it. But, it's a black pole. For ebony equals black. So. So I just, oh, I had a bite right then. I don't know if y'all seen that. All right. But it is the ebony cat. Cool. <laughs>